Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on to show you a double file folder that I created. Sorry if you can hear Kitty in the back, she won't be locked out of the room. Um, I followed a tutorial on Chasey Fox's YouTube channel, so do check the link in the description box and I'll show you all of the... Um, She'll show you all of the steps that I basically followed. And I did also use um, an Artemaze digital kit here. I'm on Artemaze's design team and everything used here is in her kit. And again, I'll leave the link to this kit down below. It's a cooking themed um, file folder. So here I've just laid up, layered up the front cover, put a little tassel charm there with a clip and here I've just layered up some tea stained appliques. Okay, yes, have your moment of of being on camera. She never pays this much attention when I'm actually crafting. So I'll open the full file folder so you can see. So this is the first opening. Okay, let me stick her on the floor. She's a rescue cat, I rescued her from a cattery about three weeks ago. She's three years old and she's very loving, wants to be around me all the time. Tried to lock her out and she was just wailing, so I do apologise. Here on um, this side, I've just added an altered glassine bag. Again, I've just layered up lace and tea stained fabric. And inside, I've just put a journaling card with some of the ephemera and made a little pocket on the back. This kit from Artemis is absolutely chock full of ephemera. So if you love ephemera or you're looking for a cooking journal, absolutely the place to go. Here I've just created a little pocket with some journaling space on the back. I thought I would make the pockets removable so that the person I'm gifting this to could actually use all of this ephemera and the pockets to make a journal if they wanted to. So here I've just used an envelope window and I've just embellished it and stuck one of the um, ephemeras behind. Altered just a normal envelope. And stuck a little bit of um, my own ephemera inside. And that's the pocket. Every, all the book pages that I've used are recipe book pages, so I thought that was fitting with the theme. And here is the paper. That's also another reason why I didn't want to cover it, because I love this paper. Now, I think it might have been Tracy who also mentioned this. Everything that I've printed in here is actually on um, photo paper, so lightweight photo paper. It's still thicker than copy paper, but not as thick as card. And it also um, makes such a lovely such a lovely finish um i backed it onto card or some of the ephemera that i actually knew i wanted to be ephemera i've just printed as i usually would onto um card can you please get off <laughs> here i've just labeled up a mason jar and um, some scraps basically um again from artemis from the kit but all the different scraps and there again, I've done a, another one. Okay, thank you for holding the book, but you're not required now. <laughs> right, so I'll start through and I'll go over each one. So if I printed ephemera, please, this, this, I can't work in these conditions. Go on, Indy, go on, go on. <laughs> Right, so all of the ephemera is print, printed and stitched. And like I said, if it's on paper, I've just backed it to make it a little bit thicker. So many different colours in this kit as well. So you can choose to go down really which, whichever avenue that you wanted. Here's one that I've done and I've actually used my sewing machine just to stitch. I've just put the word bake on there. And here is a bag from some baked goods. I think I... Took the bag from the store, lovely bit of ephemera. And here, again, it's like a poster, but what I've actually done is I've almost aged it around the edge. And let me show you what I used. Sorry for, for leaning across the camera there. All I did was I used this paint pen, and it looks like this. It's got quite a thick nib. And all I do is I just go around to the edge like this, rest it against the edge, and just move down to make a border. And then every so often I make like a groove like that again because I think it just 
makes it look aged rather than perfected. So I like that. You can get these in quite a lot of colours and they're the paint ones. You have to shake it to activate the paint. They're really good. I've had them for years and they last. Created a little booklet here just with lined tea stained paper. And inside I've added some of my own ephemera which are some ration cards. And underneath there, just a little bit of ephemera from the kit. I thought those two layered up well. Do that in a moment. Made a tag which is actually a pocket. Layered up some doilies and laces and things. And again, just added ephemera. Again, like I say, lots of different colours. You could choose to go down the reds and the darker colours. Um, again, so many different possibilities with these type of things. So I'll show you these. Here I've just made a little pocket with book page, stuck a little bit of ephemera on the front and put a tag on in there. There's the other half of the bag, that's actually the top half and I just cut it and stitched it. Two little bits of ephemera as well. That one's backed onto a recipe card. Now, I just wanted to point out, I'm not sure, oh, it's here. These three here, that is actually one page that is there. So, in Artie Maisie's kit, she often makes collage pages. And you can cut them apart for ephemera. And I really liked that half, so I thought, I'm having that, I'm going to cut that apart. But then I also quite liked the other half. So, you don't necessarily have to use pages for journaling pages. Sometimes, if there's a page that's A4 and it's lined, I'll print that into quarters, so they're before. And they're journaling cards. They're already lined, they're already distressed. And they look brilliant. So, um, you know, think outside the box, really, what I'm saying with those. This is also part of an A4 piece. That's actually on the cover, but you can't see it very well on the cover. But that's actually there. So all I did was I cut that out. I had that A4 page left over and I thought, that's nice if I'm right. So I just cut it out and mounted it. And the final little thing is just this envelope. Again, I've just shrunk down some of the journaling cards and stuck it on there and inside it's just a recipe card that I've popped in so yeah that's that so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video do check out Tracy's video she's doing quite a few let's create type of series so they're really good um, I had great fun making this and it's great and all nice alternative for making journals I thought it'd be quicker but to be honest this actually took me all month I'm just swamped with the cat new house and just life at the moment so do bear with me if I'm not that active on the YouTube channel I am trying my best to juggle craft life balance is is quite hard I'm not going to lie at the moment but I am on other social medias I'm on Instagram or Pinterest so do check me out do subscribe to this channel so you don't miss when I do upload Thank you guys. Bye.